Hello everyone, this lecture video is on the subject information theory and coding and we will discuss about the measure of information that is given an information source how to measure the information present in that particular source. We will see how to measure the information in a given source by considering an example. Suppose a plan of trip to Chennai from Bangalore in peak winter season is made. To know the weather in Chennai, you will either telephone the bureau or browse over the internet and receive one of the following messages. The first message might be sun will rise in east on that day of trip. The second will be weather will be dry, sultry and sunny for most of the day. The third one, it will be very cold day. Fourth one, there will be a snowfall on that day in Chennai. Now we will see how the amount of information varies in these four different messages. The first message, there will be no information as everyone knows that sun will rise in east on every day morning. So the probability of occurrence for the sure event is 1. The second message, there will be some information since except during monsoon it is almost true. Third message conveys a slight more information since it is not an event that occurs in Chennai during the winter season that is it will never be cold in winter time. The fourth message that is there will be a snowfall on that day in Chennai conveys large information since the occurrence of snowfall in Chennai is almost an impossible event and the probability of that particular event to occur is very small. Therefore, the amount of information is large. So from this example, we can come to know that if the probability of occurrence is small, we are going to get large information or we can tell that information is inversely proportional to probability of occurrence. As discussed earlier, we have seen that the information content is inversely proportional to the uh, probability of occurrence. So let us consider an information source producing the independent symbols uh, from an alphabet S is equal to S1, S2, S3 up till SQ with the respective probabilities P equal to P1, P2 up till PQ. Let SK be the symbol chosen for the transmission at any instant of time with the probability value say PK. Then the amount of information or self-information of a message is given as IK equal to uh, log 1 by PK. Now there are different uh, units to measure this information content. Uh, if the base of log is 2 then information unit will be bits. If the base of log is 10 then we usually tell that the information is so much hardly or so much decits. If the base is E then we tell that it is nats. And if the base is other than E 10 and 2 then we tell that it is RRA units. So this is regarding the information content of a message. We usually define it as IK equal to log 1 by PK. And if you see here, it is inversely proportional to the probability of occurrence. Why log is used to measure the information content? There are several reasons like the information content or self-information of any message cannot be negative. Each message must contain a certain amount of information. That's why we go for log function. The lowest possible self-information is zero when the probability of sure event uh, since p is equal to 1. More information is carried by less likely message. When independent symbols are transmitted, the total self information must be the sum of uh, individual self information. So all these uh, criteria that is it cannot be negative, uh, it can cannot be infinity, it should be lying from 0 to 1 and so on can be met out with only log function. So that's why we are going to measure the information in terms of log function. 
what is a zero memory source so uh, it represents basically a model of discrete information source emitting a sequence of symbols from a fixed source alphabet s is equal to s1 s2 s q successive symbols are selected according to some fixed probability law and uh, statistically independent of one another so this means that there is no connection between any two symbols and the source has no memory okay so if the symbols are generated such that they are not dependent on each other and it is not going to be saved with some memory are called as zero memory source so such type of source are called as memoryless or zero memory source uh, yes we'll discuss some problems on this information content the first problem the binary symbols 0 and 1 are transmitted with probability 1 by 4 and 3 by 4 respectively find the corresponding self information so this question is uh, told that the probability of binary symbol 0 is 1 by 4 and the probability of uh, binary symbol 1 is 3 by 4 we'll see the solution so self information of binary 0 will be i 0 which means that information content of binary symbol 0 is uh, log to uh, 1 by po so we'll take the base of uh, log function as 2 so the amount of information will be in terms of bits so we'll substitute the probability of 0 which is 1 by 4 and we are going to get it as 2 bits similarly the self information for binary 1 will be information content of i1 which is log to 1 by p1 we'll substitute the probability of 1 which is 3 by 4 and we are going to get the amount of information as 0.415 so as per the theory we know that lesser the probability more is the information we'll try to justify this particular answer here so 1 by 4 is uh, less than uh, 3 by 4 so if the information or probability is less then i should have more information so 1 by 4 probability information i'm going to get it as 2 bits and uh, the probability of occurrence is uh, 3 by 4 for which i'm going to get the information as 0.415 so higher the probability uh, lesser is the information content which is also true here second problem a source puts out one of the five possible messages during each message interval the probabilities of these messages are p1 is 1 by 2 p2 is 1 by 4 p3 is 1 by 8 p4 is 1 by 16 and p5 is 1 by 16 what is the information content of these message so we know that i is equal to log 1 by p1 so information for message m1 with probability p1 if you substitute you are going to get the answer as 1 bit i of m2 that is information content of second message with probability 1 by 4 you are going to get it as 2 bits i of m3 is log 1 by uh, p3 uh, 1 by 8 you are going to get it as 3 bit now since uh, uh, p4 and p5 are same i am going to get both the information as same so log 1 by uh, p4 is equal to log 1 by p5 substitute you are going to get it as 4 bits the next task is uh, just calculate the information for the above message in nats and hartley so hint is the same formula but we are going to change the base in order to get the answer in nats we are going to replace the base 2 as e and in order to get it in terms of hartley we are going to replace uh, log to the base 2 as log 10 just try to solve this problem we'll discuss in the next classes